good. That's good. You can. You want to? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Finish it up after. Good morning, friends. There may be a few people running to the empty tomb yet. So while we wait for the last few folks to run on in, we have a new setting of liturgy that I want the choir knows and they're excited for. It's very lyrical and dancey. You're going to love it. But we're going we're gonna to do a little pray, prelude, if you will, a little, a little peek, a little preview, a little practice. All of those start with P. That's very interesting. So uh, they're going to be on the screens if you would like uh, them in front of you. It's setting nine in your red uh, evangelical Lutheran worship, and it begins on page 196. But again, the same thing that's right here is on the screen. The choir knows it, and it's going to sing it triumphantly. This is how we'll do it first. This is the only one with, like, multiple verses. So let the choir sing the refrain in the first verse, and we'll join them on the second verse and the final refrain. And that way, we'll just kind of get it in our bones. That's not it. Okay. We're not going to We're not gonna look at the screens. We're going to look at our hymnals today, all right? So you're going to get it out, page 196, John. So just uh, skip that part, okay? We're going we're gonna to use this. All right. 196. That is, let me double check here, Luis. <laughs> that is correct in your bulletin, see? So this is a good thing because I was going to do this anyways. Your worship resource has all the page numbers. The little page numbers are for the little page numbers at the front. When it says song, those are the big hymn numbers towards the back. Does that make sense? So we're going to, yes, it does, Laura. So we're going to use uh, page 196. Again, the nice thing about Easter, and we're going to talk about this in a little bit, it's 50 days long. So we've got lots of time, <laughs> lots of time. So if, 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 to, if today you're like, you know what, too much, I'm just going to sit back and let the choir sing, they're ready for you. Okay, so you sit back and let the choir sing if you need to this morning. But if you want to learn, if you want to jump in, it sounds something like this. Like I said, when in doubt, just let the choir sing today, okay? And it's, like I said, very lyrical. So, so if you find your body kind of, you know, ha, 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 that's okay. That's, that's the Easter spirit, right? It's your little dance, little dance. Okay, then we're going to skip the Alleluia. That's easy enough. Again, let the choir go if you want, all right? Uh, the, the Sanctus, page 200, holy, 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 during communion. This one, again, hits you in the face if you're not ready for it. So you may want to prepare ahead of time, or again, let the choir sing. Sounds something like this. Join if, you, if you'd like or listen, and you'll have a chance later. The wrong screen. Yep, no, no, no screens for any of this, John. Okay, thank you. Holy, holy.
just we'll go right over to 201. So you don't even need to turn the page for the on you stay, the Lamb of God. By Pentecost, you're going to be humming that throughout the week. I can't wait. I can't wait. Friends, it's a blessing to gather here on this resurrection of our Lord Easter Sunday. Karen's ready. She's ready. I see her. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just take a breath together with just the conclusion of Amy's pre-service music. And then away we go.
Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. There you go. I was only going to do it three times, but you guys got it. One more for all of us to leap to our feet in body or spirit this Easter morn. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all.
be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. God of mercy, we no longer look for Jesus among the dead, for he is alive and has become the Lord of life. Increase in our minds and hearts the risen life we share with Christ and help us to grow as your people toward the fullness of eternal life with you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him, so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Acts. Peter began to speak to the people. I truly understand that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, anyone who fears him and does what is right is acceptable to him. You know the message he sent to the people of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. That message spread throughout Judea beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John announced, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power, how he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses to all that he did in Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree, but God raised him on the third day and allowed him to appear, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about him that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. the Holy Gospel according to Mark, the 16th chapter. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, They saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But Jesus said to them, do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, here is the place they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. So they went out and fled from the tomb, for terror and amazement 
had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ. Christ. I invite any of our, yeah, our young folks to come forward for a little time together here this Easter. It's good to be together. Yeah, Jasmine, come on up. We just hang out for a little bit here together. On this Easter, it's a special day, is it not? Hey there. Boom, 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 into place. All right, all right. How we doing? You all look so nice today. Oh my goodness, yay. So, with the, we just shared the story of the resurrection from the Gospel of Mark. The women went to the tomb, and what did they find? Nothing. Nothing, yeah, yeah. Nothing. They found an empty tomb and an, and an angel sitting there that said, Jesus is not here. Jesus has been raised. And they said, go, go and tell others. And so we gather today as faithful followers of Jesus to celebrate the gift that Jesus is not among the dead, but among the living. And we go, we go from this time of worship as we do each Sunday or Wednesday or whenever we, it is that we gather to worship and celebrate the gift that Jesus is not among the dead but is among the living to go and to tell others, to go and show others. Because when you show and share life, my friends, you show and share Jesus. So when you go and you show love, and care, and kindness, and joy, and faithfulness, and all of those fruits of the Spirit that we explore at camp and at school. We share Jesus, not among the dead, but among the living, for our God is a living God. May that good news continue to sustain you, to, to fill you with the joy that you feel today, and the excitement as you wake up early, probably most of you, if you're like my kids, let that carry you into this, into this uh, new springtime to share the life of God with one another. All right, let's have a word of prayer and then I'll have a little invitation for you. So you can have your chapel prayer hands together and repeat after me as we pray. Dear God, Dear God thank you for Jesus. Thank you for Jesus. Risen from the dead. To show me your life, help me share your life of love, this Easter and always, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, we have worship kits at the back with Mr. Ron, Mr. Art, Mr. Rudy, so if you'd like a worship kit to hang out with and do some activities and whatnot during worship, uh, Feel free to grab one from them. You might just have to let them know your age because they're broken down by age ranges. So if, uh, if you just let them know your age, they can help get, them, get the right ones out to you there. If you're close, you can age up or down based on what you want and what's available. <laughs> we also have some great youth hanging with Florence in the nursery. So if any of you guys need the nursery, uh, there's a giant sign right out there that says nursery. You can go hang out there as well. You can even take your worship kits. Evelyn and Wilson are like, peace. <laughs> I love it. They didn't even check with you, Karen. I love that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. This is the liturgical summation of the church. This is the liturgical summation from the church of the announcement of the presumed angel in the resurrection story of the gospel of Mark that we heard today. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Mary Magdalene. And Mary, the mother of James, along with Salome, came from the cross 
followers of Jesus who were there on Friday when he was crucified. They were looking on from a distance. And now they came searching for a way to roll the large stone away so that they could anoint the dead body of their beloved Jesus. They had bought spices just for this blessing and were searching their minds for a way in to the body, saying to one another, who will roll the stone away for us from the entrance of the tomb? In their grief, they showed up with no clear plan to access the body of Jesus, but searching for a way, a way into the tomb, a way forward in grief, a way to continue on the journey now forever marked by the cross. When the three women looked up, they saw that the very large stone which they were searching for a way through had already been rolled back. God is a God of grace, amen? amen. How quickly I could imagine with great relief their searching for a way in turned into searching for uh, the body, for anointing. Still in grief, expecting only to mask the stench of death with anointing spices. And in true Markan fashion, even this searching was short-lived. As the Marys and, the, and Salome were alarmed at the young man in a white robe sitting in the tomb. With the good news, hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed, hallelujah. I told you it's a summation, the church's summation of the good news. The Gospel of Mark offers the good news in this way. It says, do not be alarmed, for you are looking, you are searching for Jesus of Nazareth, who is crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look, here is the place they laid him. The tomb is empty. Jesus is not among the dead, but among the living. The women who came searching to bless their dead instead find an empty place where he had been laid. And instead of blessing Jesus with anointing spices, they received the blessing of God's word of resurrection, of new life. In an instant, they're searching for a way in to honor their dead and a way forward in grief becomes a frantic search for life in a new and amazing probably a little confusing, perhaps, way. The three were sent out with the message of the resurrection, a commission to go, tell the disciples and Peter that he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. And the three went, now in search of life. Now in search of life. It says they fled from the tomb. For terror and amazement had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. Which, true or not, doesn't really matter because you found out. <laughs> you found out. Here you all are, gathered for one reason today. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. So I'm just going to give it all to you. I believe we gather to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord today, yes, and also every Sunday in search of life, in search of life. No matter what we bring with us, when we gather around God's word and sacraments, our grief, our joy, our pain, our wonder, our struggle, our awe, Whatever it is that we bring, we come searching for life, for hope in grief, for sharing of our great joy, for comfort of our pain, for companionship in our wonder and amazement, for direction through our struggle, for simply maybe a space to hold our awe. We gather around God's word in search of life, and like the three women, we find not a dead and gone Jesus, but a living word of God that is the way to abundant life. The life-giving good news of the resurrection transforms the cross of death into the cross of hope. 
The life-giving good news of the resurrection gives the gift of faith as it inspires us to pay attention to Jesus as the true revealing of the way of life in God. To love our neighbors as ourselves. To treat others as we would be treated. To heal and advocate for the healing of the sick. To care for the poor. To love the unloved. To live the grace we have come to know through Jesus. The stone rolled away. In those times of life when we come only by the leading and the grace of the Holy Spirit, wondering how on earth we're going to roll the stone away from the love and life of God as we search for life. We are met with the good news that we hear again this Easter Sunday that the stone has already been rolled away. That God's life is here now for you. Follow Jesus and live the abundant life of God. Just as upon his death, the Gospel of Mark tells us how the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom, symbolizing how the understood particular place of God's presence was now available to all. So, too, the stone rolled away symbolizes the great action of God through the resurrection, setting forth for all time the gift of new and abundant life in God, showing to all the cosmos a divine love such that nothing can stop nor separate us from. The three women, too, found this life of Christ for which they went from the tomb searching for, we wouldn't be here if they had not. Showing us no matter how disoriented, no matter how terrified nor amazed, you find the life for which you search in Jesus. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Now go, step into the kingdom of God and share this good news with your faithful living. Amen. Amen.
And now, together with the whole church, let us confess our faith by the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Rejoicing that Jesus is risen and love has triumphed over fear, let us pray for the church, the world, and all those in need of good news. Holy God, we pray for the body of Christ, the church. Where the church is persecuted, protect it. Where the church is privileged, grant it humility. Where the church is fractured, heal it. Guide us all to embody Christ's love in the world. God of grace, hear our prayer. Life-giving God, we pray for the earth, your good creation. Join our prayers with branches lifted in praise and roaring waters of new life, that together we may proclaim Easter hope God of grace, merciful God, we pray for all peoples and nations, free oppressed communities from occupation, exploitation, and abuse. Teach leaders your way of justice. Empower peacemakers and all who work to end violence and strife. God of grace, liberating God, we pray for people everywhere who long for good news, Roll away the stones that keep people from living with dignity and wholeness. Breathe new life and hope into people struggling to make it through each day. God of grace. Hear our prayer. Loving God, we pray for this cross of hope and for your spirit in our midst. Feed us at your Easter table and fill us with your wisdom that we may serve and care for others. God of grace. Hear our prayer. Eternal God. We remember those who have gone before us in death, especially John Dunn, Dale Bauer, and all whose ministry inspired generations to faith. Renew our trust in your promises that we live with joyful courage and compassion. God of grace, into your hands, most merciful God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your abiding love through Jesus Christ, our resurrected and living Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ be with you always. We share briefly signs of God's peace.
stone is rolled away. Hallelujah, the stone is rolled away. Hallelujah, the Lord is risen from the grave. The stone is rolled away. The stone is rolled away. Hallelujah, the stone is rolled away. Hallelujah, the Lord is risen from the grave. Risen one, you call us to believe and bear fruit. May the gifts that we offer here be signs of your abiding love. Form us to be your witnesses in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our true vine. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right our duty and our joy that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, for the glorious resurrection of our Savior Jesus Christ, the true Paschal Lamb who gave himself to take away our sin, who in dying has destroyed death and in rising has brought us to eternal life. And so with Mary Magdalene and Peter and all the witnesses of the resurrection, 
with earth and sea and all their creatures, and with angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God. Blessed are you, O God of the universe, for your mercy is everlasting and your faithfulness endures from age to age. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again, after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. With this bread and cup, we remember our Lord's Passover from death to life as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. O God of resurrection and new life, pour out your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts of bread and wine. Bless this feast and grace our table with your presence. Reveal yourself to us in the breaking of the bread. Raise us up as the body of Christ for the world. Breathe new life into us. Send us forth burning with justice, peace, and love. With Dale and your holy ones of all times and places, with the earth and all its creatures, with sun and moon and stars, we praise you, O God, blessed and holy trinity, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us always to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Come, taste and see the goodness of God for you. All is now ready. All are welcome. Once I have communed our servers and we are in place, you'll be invited to come by the direction and invitation of our ushers down the center aisle. Receive a bit of bread and you can eat that. And then a small cup of either red wine or white grape juice. And then you can return the empty cups to our basket as you head back to your seat this day as we share this holy meal together. All are welcome. broken for you. Rudy, the body of Christ, broken for you. R.C., the body of Christ, broken for you. Ron, the body of Christ, broken for you. Art, the body of Christ, broken for you. The body of Christ,
the body of Christ broke it for you.
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the gifts of his body and blood strengthen, keep, and unite us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Shepherding God, you have prepared a table before us and nourished us with your love. Send us forth from this banquet to proclaim your goodness and share the abundant mercy of Jesus, our Redeemer and our friend. Amen. Amen. A big word of thanks to everyone who has uh, helped host a uh, light time of fellowship here. So be invited to, to stay around some food and fellowship. Uh, kiddos, if you want to hunt for some Easter eggs, uh, Mr. Kevin is holding them until we're done. And so join him right over by the Cross of Hope kind of sign. So right out here to the right, uh, there are bags if you need bags. But kiddos, gather with Mr. Kevin right over there, and there'll be plenty of adults uh, uh, with you for your little Easter egg hunt. I'll invite you in, in um, body or spirit to stand and receive God's blessing this Easter morn. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. The God of resurrection power, the Christ of unending joy and the spirit of Easter hope, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless you now and always. Amen. Amen. O oh God, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single peace. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wraths and sorrows and give peace to your church, peace among nations, peace in our homes and peace in our hearts through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Rejoice and be glad. Thanks be to God.